Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review for you or a box opening review for you. This, um, the reason why I'm showing you got this to you guys is because I have a three year old son and I struggle so hard to find a, um, a potty for him. So usually of course you have like the little round one that goes around the toilet and you know you pop it on there and they sit down but i've also had like a urinal for him too and either they don't stay up on the wall um and i've bought two i had the little froggy one that you get on amazon all the time cute little thing but after a little while it falls off the wall then i've had this other one that was made by uh i think it's summertime it's the cutest little thing. It looks like an actual urine, but that one wouldn't stay on the wall. And then to top that off, it has this little box on the back that I guess it's flipped on that you push the button for it to make the toilet sound. The thing just kept going off like there was a ghost in it. So I was like in my bed at three o'clock in the morning or something. And I could literally hear the thing going off. I'm jumping up like thinking something's in the house. So. I just couldn't do it, um, but I did find something else and I was gonna, I thought it'd be really cool to open it up in front of you guys because I thought it was the cutest little thing ever, you guys. So I was looking online for a nice little alternative for my child and um, I came across this little beauty here and I'm about to show you what it is. Fresh out the box because I haven't even opened it yet. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about this one. And I really hope this one will work. Cause I know with the summertime one and the, the froggy one that I got, they were saying, you know, use it on towel. I think, especially the summertime one, they say use it on towel. And you know, I have towel in my bathroom and it still wouldn't stick. But this is the new new. Uh -huh. it's, mobile, it's made by Cozy Baby, Cozy Bean. This is her. Let me bring her closer. Yes. Voila. This is Peter Potty Toddler Urinal. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit better. Let me see. Yep. Peter Potty Toddler Urinal. So. What I like about this one is there's actually a stand. So what I really like about this one is there's actually a stand with this bad boy. Um, if you can see it on the back, I'm gonna show you the back of the box. It says, it's like, it has like a stand. It doesn't have like a thing where you stick it to the back and then you gotta, you know, hope that it doesn't fall down or anything like that. Um, what I do like about this, what, what made me really get it, is because look, when my son, go to the bathroom um you can't flush it so after a while if you have well, you have to clean them anyway but it's cool that this one has the option to push the button and the water flows down it kind of cleans it and puts all the urine at the bottom where you can't see it so to me that just looks a little more sanitary and this is probably the biggest reason why i bought it so let me um, break it down for you so you can see it for what it is. And I'm gonna open the box up. So it has a real water flush. So it trickles down in front of it. Uh, and it grows with your child with a mount that goes up to four inches or 10 centimeters and then it grows to your child. And then there's an all day capacity. That's the other thing. It's an all day capacity. Like every time my son would go to the bathroom, I would have to find myself constantly picking that bad boy up and pouring it now with the summertime one i struggled with that one because when you pour it over it still somehow gets everywhere because i guess it's so deep and it has like a weird shape so when you pour it into the um commode or whatever you still have pee everywhere so it's just like it was too much um the froggy one was cute but after a while it started to get a bit of an odor because even though you might be emptying it out and say you're cleaning it out um, there's certain parts, I guess, that turn and twist. They, I guess, in the little crevices, still get urine stuck in them. And, you know, I think that's what it is. It wasn't a horrible smell or anything, but I did notice it had a little smell after a while. But I think this one right here might be winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we gonna open this puppy up. Oh, I should have got the knife. 
we gonna open this puppy up and see what she hitting for because I'm hiding behind this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna see what she's hitting for because like my son, I want to keep him. Um, sorry, that's, that's silly. I want to keep him on the right path. I hope this is an easy assemble. Yes, I use a knife to open. <laughs> I hope this is an easy assemble, you guys. So what we're seeing here is a piece of the stand. I'm pretty sure. Move that to the side. We have the part that goes on top where you add the water. This is this side up, this side out. We'll figure that out in a second. We have our constructions here. Uh, pull her out. Oh, this thing kind of heavy. This stuff. We have, I guess, the base to the stand. Okay, we have some screws here. And we have this little thing. It, it seems weighted or something. It's kind of heavy. And that's all the contents inside of the box, okay? Yeah, that's kind of heavy. Yeah. So this is her, or should I say him? I don't know. But this is the porta pot. Oh, this is the porta pot. See, this is the little potty. These are the pots. I'm gonna see how to put this together. And hopefully it's easy. Uh, it doesn't look too difficult. Okay. Hopefully, I'm like a little nerd, so I might be able to get this done rather quickly. So it looks like this goes on here. Uh -huh. Oh, and then it screws on. Yep, so let me just put this on here first. And I'll show you. So it goes on like that and you line it up. I'm guessing um, the screws that go at the bottom are the 1.25. So the baby screws go in there. There's two long ones and two baby ones. These are the long ones. I don't know if you can see that. So these are the long ones. These are the things that hold them together if you put them in the wall, I guess. And these are the babies. So the babies are just like a little bit smaller. These are the ones that are going to be used for this one here. Don't have a screwdriver right now. I'll get it later. Just want to kind of show y'all what it's like. I'm going to put it together. I'll show y'all this. You screw those in, right? This part here. Mom, I'm just gonna. 24? Yeah, 24 ounces will go in here. So that's the setup. And double check in here and make sure I got this right. Pop it like that. And pull 
these little tape pieces off. I'll show you this part. Not bad, man. Nice little setup here where you don't have to continuously keep worrying about it all day. And it's it's a pain in the butt, yeah. With those other ones. Let me see what's going on here. Why is it not going all the way in? What's up? Alright, let's see what's going on here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pull this tape off so you guys can see her in the full flesh. And let's push the button. Now, it's not like when you push it and hold it, more comes out. So it's already kind of set up to the point where it's, um, it gives you like a specific amount to flow into it. It's not like a, um, a situation where if you keep pushing it, you'll get more and more water. So that's cool. There's a control there. You know, you don't have to worry about like keep pushing it, a hole in it, and then it, water keep coming out, and then you go back and there's no water in it. So yeah, look, I let go of it. Yeah. Of course, it's not all the way full. Actually, I take that back. If you keep holding it, it's gonna keep going. But I think because once it empties, once it really empties out, it's gonna go slower when you push it because it's not full anymore. So yeah, I think this would be a really great option for my child and for cleanup purposes. I hope this review helped you guys. Let's see how easy it is to get it out. Well, not too hard at all. There's a one. Hope y'all can see it. A lot. That's it. But um, yes, this is my review of this cute little Peter potty. Very simple to put together. I know if you have a wall, basically you would screw this on to the back of the wall and then slide that up against it. But not not a hard setup at all. Um, I'm really <laughs> glad to get something different. It actually has some structure, and I can actually put it on the floor without putting it up against the wall and my son can go to the bathroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will shoot a link at the bottom of my description in the description bar below if you guys are interested in this amazing little potty here. Um, yeah, I, I like this already, so yeah. <laughs> infant potty the pizza potty um so far i've been using it for two days and my son loves it i'm going to say the only downfall that i have and it's not even a downfall because i don't even care about this one is um he likes to pull the tray out all the time to clean it which i'd rather him be a clean kid than a dirty kid so i'm cool with that but so far i absolutely love this little potty it has been a jewel in the house it hasn't fallen off the wall like the rest of them have for me so i am grateful for it if you guys are interested in this potty i will put a link below so that you can get it 
and I hope that each and every one of you parents who are struggling with these little urinals and stuff, you find solace in buying this one because I absolutely love it. Hope you guys have an amazing day and thank you for watching, guys. Peace, peace.